his way to the ring. Cash Boo! Gentlemen making his way to the ring, Lee Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the main event of the evening. Twelve rounds in a unification bout for the British and Commonwealth Bantamweight titles. This contest is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control. And our official ringside are Chief Inspectors Charlie Clark and Neil McLean. Your three judges scoring ringside are John Latham, Phil Edwards, and Mark Lyson. Your referee in charge of the action when the bell goes, Victor Lachlan, and your timekeeper, Jim Kirkwood. And now, to those watching on ESPN Plus and IFL TV, and to you in attendance in the Glasgow Emirates Arena, ladies and gentlemen, it's about to go See some action! Make some noise! Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He officially weighed in at eight stone, five pounds and five ounces, equaling 170.5 pounds. He brings to the ring a perfect professional record of 13 wins, six knockouts and no losses. Tonight wearing the purple and white trunks from Glasgow, Scotland. He is the reigning, defending British champion of Bantamweight, Cash Untouchable. And introducing his opponent across the ring in the blue corner, he officially weighs in at eight stone, five pounds, and nine ounces, equaling 170. Point nine pounds. He also brings a perfect professional record to the ring of seven wins, six knockouts, and no losses. Tonight wearing the white and gold trunks from Edinburgh, Scotland. Please welcome the reigning, defending, Commonwealth Bantamweight Champion, Lee.
referee will now give his final instructions to the boxers. Okay, boys, if I don't seems so much. It's not a crossroads fight. He doesn't mean the end for the loser, as we've talked about historically in this kind of matchup. Far, far from it. So good to see this kind of contest being put on. And I just wonder what are they going to be the deciding factors in this one? Well, the physical size of McGregor's one, the obvious sign. Can he can he impose that on Farouk? And also Farouk's upper body movement, which is fantastic when he's slipping and sliding coming forward. He's a very hard target to hit clean. Can McGregor stop that? Well, they Can sparred, have enough success to stop them from piling forward? They sparred a few years ago, but neither of them really talk about that. They they are on friendly terms, a load of respect. The, there's in no way the the sort of atmosphere and the, the banter, I suppose, that McGregor got sucked into in the Allen fight when we saw him in this very arena last time out. There's a lot of body movement there for Rudy, they're making, making McGregor miss. Well, Paddy, you and I saw him at certainly ringside for the first time a year ago when he was up against Ian Butcher, and I think we were both blown away by how comfortable he glided round the yeah. ring. It, it was clear that night that this was a guy with a little bit of magic. McGregor just clipped in there with a little shot, and again there, just threw took the sting out of it, but just still got caught with that little right hand. And it's interesting that McGregor's got the... The, the length and the height and the range and, and the reach, he doesn't always use it, but Farouk has become something of a, a puncher, I think it's fair to say. Last three of his last four fights by stoppage and early stoppage in there, there's been six knockdowns in, in, in a, all in those fights as well. making McGregor miss, he's got to make sure he's got to come back to something himself. Well, it's already fizzing and, and bubbling. Oh, the crowd are getting into it already, buddy. Yeah, nice little right hand there from McGregor. Not much weight behind it, but... Again, because you've got that longer reach, Farouk's making the... Usually would make you miss just a little extension of the, of the shot there from McGregor. See when he slips his... That just beams confidence from both, that, that's what that is. That's the level cut there from Farouk. But McGregor, not, he's not buying the, the feints and the upper body movement of Farouk so far. Appetizer in that first one. to the second round then. Cash Farouk, who is so close to, to giving up the game, it's actually his mum who persuaded him to, to carry on, to, to have the faith. His mum who's never seen him, mum and dad, never seen him box live ringside. I think it's Farouk more than them making that decision. He, he feels he'd just be too preoccupied with worrying about them. So they watch from home. It's the, the same for McGregor's sister, Nicola, his, his grandma, and Marie as well, both big fans. They'll be watching back home with a, maybe through their fingers and their fingers crossed too as we go through the first couple of rounds. Oh, little right hand there from Farouk. Just remember when he's, he's got to slip inside the shot and not remember this, to sit too much on the back foot, Farouk, when he, when he tries to make McGregor miss. And there, oh, 
You can see it. just a couple of times you can just see the, uh, the strength of McGregor. Good right hand from Peru. Is he maybe now just starting to find the range? And a left hook as well there. Oh, good response there from McGregor. And that was the big single shot right hand that Grant Smith was asking for in between rounds. He started. Lovely left hook there through. And McGregor was just caught in no man's land with his hands down. Nice jab from McGregor, forcing Farouk to miss. Inside the final minute, and Farouk has absolutely dedicated himself to this sport. He says that boxing is his life. He doesn't do or have anything else. Not interested in girlfriends, boxing is his thing. Mickey McGregor missed there, quite comfortable there for Rook, but he got to come back with a shot. Nice little left hook there from McGregor. Yeah, McGregor had the, the good start to the round. The right hand was working well, but you know, the, the punches you remember, that, that big left hook on the follow-up from Farouk. McGregor's hand's just a little low. A little right hand on there from Farouk there. Oh, good shot there from McGregor. Yeah, it's a tip for tat. And he's being held with one hand, Farouk. He's punching with the other as he's entitled to do. Oh, fantastic round. through the first two rounds. Might just be 1-1. One, one. Sure, you're arguing about it already back up in two years. And I'm, and I'm sure it's been exactly... Oh, good shot. I'm sure it's been exactly the same over down in Sheffield as well, where McGregor trains. Indeed. Spending his whole camps down there, the Steel City gym with Grant Smith. Dalton, his son, is in the, the, the corner tonight, part of the entourage. Of course, uh, Chris and Sonny yeah. Edwards, I can see Sunny ringside over on the far side as well, very much part of that team. Oh, lovely uppercut there from McGregor. This is where he wants to look here, back against the ropes, just limits the flexibility of movement there. Didn't need to hold there, McGregor, he just used that shoulder to push him back. Farouk's got to try and just spin around the target here, but he, McGregor tries to put a bit, a bit of lean on him. Victor Lachlan, who was uh, involved in that Lomachenko-Campbell fight, he refereed that one recently. He has ref both of these men, uh, I think, in their respective performances oh, against shot. Allen. Lovely another, left hook. Another left hand, Barry, yes, from Farouk. That's the punch that's working for him. Just we have another low duck too much, okay? It's quite a lot. So we just got to make sure those punches are smooth. Oh, a bit low with the left hook there, McGregor, uh, Farouk. Good body shot there with the right hand. And a lovely chopping right hand there from Farouk. Yeah, nice uppercut up close as well. 30 seconds to go. So we doesn't get too tall here, Farouk. Stay nice and low. Oh, nice right hand there again from Farouk. And the, the one thing Farouk Farouk does is he makes it difficult for McGregor to land that right hand, Barry. He he just leans away to his left and he makes the he makes himself yeah. a narrow target. And he turns the shoulders. He yeah. does. Um, so
Farouk Corner delighted with the way he's moving. And I think it is the, the upper body movement and the short, sharp punches. Only a, a cameo of them so far, but eye-catching from Farouk. The thing is, you can tell so McGregor usually, with, with the guy with the good up body movement, you just bam that solid jab to the chest. Just stops the movement straight away. A good shot from McGregor. But with a short the fighter, that's so much more difficult. And a fighter who stays low like, like, like Farouk, that makes it really, really hard to stop that movement. I mentioned that boxing is pretty much Farouk's uh, life. McGregor, of course, got a little one now. Maddy come into his, his life several months ago. And that very much a motivation for him now. His, his partner, Amber, here tonight, I think ringside, she can't bear to to be a, away from ringside. She'd rather see for her own eyes what's happening rather than kind of watch it from a distance or hear second or third hand. Got to keep popping that jab out there, McGregor. Just starting to let Farouk walk on to him now, and then Farouk's a roll on fight there. Once he gets that little bit of rhythm in his work, he's very hard to, to, to pull back. The right hand there from Farouk. Surely, this, this sort of range is exactly where Farouk wants the fight to be played. Yeah, oh, good body, body shot, shot from him. Yeah. Oh, right hand there from Farouk as well. And, the is and although there's, there's not loads between the, them in these exchanges, Barry, you fancy it's maybe Farouk's tactics that are coming to bear early on. Well, McGregor's new. He's, got, he's throwing the right punches, he just can't get the clean enough connection on the shots. Farouk's just riding the punches. Oh, there's a cut. There's just a little sm a smudge of a, a cut under the right eye of Farouk. Oh, oh and nice the, left hook. And uh, as Barry said, the left hook landed right on that spot. McGregor trying to tie him up close, and it is Farouk who's trying to wriggle free. Well, McGregor's doing the right thing, and he's trying to lean on Farouk, put a bit of weight on him. Body shot there from Farouk, great little sponge. And back yeah. comes McGregor. Just taps away at that cut, but no one's his corner, he's okay, Farouk. You've got to forget about it, though. And right at the end of the round, McGregor trying to get a bit of space between them. And that corner can now go and work on the cut. We're coming close together. There's that short right hand that was at the start of the round for Farouk. Oh, it's a great shot, and then he rolls away from trouble there, Farouk. A little body shot as well there. Then at the end, then, as just thought, we're going to start to get into this distance there. There's a nice little body shot there from Farouk. So the high wheel shot's coming from Farouk, but I think we're going to drop back into it later in that round. Yeah, the here we go then into the next, into round five. Could be Farouk's 3-1 up, could be 2 all. He's, he's, he's close, debatable. But certainly, the, I think the, the quality punches, not loads of them, but the quality punches, you remember, have come from Farouk. But then McGregor's landed plenty of those right hands too. And while Farouk's mother and father will be watching from home, his brother, Shan, is, is always ringside supporting. Good upper body move there from McGregor this time. And you always fancy there's going to be little changes in the play and the, on oh, the plot. Set the cut. Yeah, most definitely. So, when, you've got, when you've got two guys of this quality so early on in the career.
couple of body shots going in and back there straight away though from McGregor I must admit McGregor's sort of every calorie counted for him these days when it comes to making weight I, I thought Barry I, I wasn't out the way and I only saw the, the pictures in the in the footage it just looked like maybe he was a, a bit leaner in the face than oh. normal good work here from Farouk back comes McGregor Looks like Farouk just starting to brim with a bit of confidence. Again, he dabs at that cup. Tell you what, it's going to be a hard second half of the fight. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a great story, Farouk. He, he born and, and brought up in, in Lahore, in, in Pakistan. He came here when he was, when he was six. Not knowing anyone, and he, he found boxing. But when he first went to the gym, he, he had to take two different buses, took him an hour and a, a quarter to get there. But he kept at it, stuck at it, kept making those journeys, such was his desire, and here you can see the fruit of it. Oh, that's good work here from Farouk. Just before this gets assault, McGregor landed a nice little one too, but then sort of the... Oh, good right hand there from McGregor. That was better from McGregor. He, whether he missed with the right hand or not, he was coming back with something. Left hand uppercut on that occasion. My only concern here is McGregor's missing. He's done him some good shots, he's missing it a lot. That takes a lot out of you. In what's up? Here we go then, into the next. Second half of the fight. It's nice there from McGregor. This little fast combo. Now, he did well there McGregor and then just unnecessarily clipped with a a couple of shots on the way out. When you go to your right, you've got to walk up when you're an orthodox fighter, so you've got to pivot on the front and to the left. And what Farouk does is close the distance pretty well. Nice right hand. Good there from McGregor. Again, Farouk just rides enough to take this thing out the shot. A good score and punch all the same. The right hand there from Farouk, oh, and again. And another one, yes. Nice uppercut though there from, from McGregor on the ropes. Just a little welt under the left eye of McGregor now. Again, Farouk leaping into that jab, and. Uh, more shots getting forward. He's, he's just starting to, to force the issue now. He's just starting to ask questions of McGregor in this round. But again, like, like the third round, McGregor had a good start to the round, but Farouk has worked his way into it now. Oh, fantastic left hook to, to the body. Back comes McGregor, and that's the thing that's making it perhaps difficult to, to score. Oh, a huge hook. left hand again from Farouk. And as hard as McGregor is fighting, and as, as much as he is landing shots of his own, all, all the big shots you remember are coming from Farouk. Even if they're just one or two of them in a round. Yes. Can they both land in the hooks? Good round.
fire, trying to light a fire under Lee McGregor, trying to motivate him. I think Farouk's been doing plenty more than just punching to the body, to my eye. But he's trying to simplify it for this fight, and that's what yeah. he's trying to do. So listen, he's just coming forward, you've got to just be a little bit, more, a little bit smarter. Good from McGregor, yeah. to, to evade most of those shots. Oh, good right hand to the chin there from McGregor, and a lovely shot. Yeah, fantastic uppercut. He picked that beautifully, McGregor, and from distance, and again yeah. starting to put his shots together. And again, three uppercuts in succession from McGregor, getting through with the right hand. Fantastic stuff. Just a sort of foothold perhaps that in as close as it has been in the trenches just the sort of stuff and, and response McGregor perhaps needed He's missing with there McGregor just took just took the wind off his sails it with there missing with those shots just got to push pu push Farouk back and throw that up again and Farouk's got to get closer and keep turning McGregor uh, in, in any of these big fights that sometimes it comes down to more than just skill and, and sometimes you, you just have to push or drag that out of yourselves and that's what McGregor's doing right now. A little bit of blood maybe from the nose of McGregor. The jab there from McGregor as well. It's his best round of the, the fight so far. Oh, look at this though from Fruit. Lovely body shot to start that three punch. Assault. Oh, huge left hand but back comes McGregor again with another uppercut. Been his punch of this round. And again. Oh, good body shot there from Farouk. And suddenly now it's McGregor playing the Matador. Interesting change in the play in this round. Nice jab there from McGregor using that reach. Back comes Farouk. What a round, I tell you what, McGregor's put a lot oh. into this. He, he's getting his reward, but he's put an awful lot into this. Oh, look, left hook there from Farouk. Fantastic, and McGregor just looks a bit weary. Put a lot into this round, hasn't he? Understandably. No one, each fighter won't allow the other one to be dominant, even if they're winning. And that just boils down to, to pure ambition and, and desire and belief in yourself. Oh, the shot, lovely right hand. Little faint aid for that one too there from McGregor. A good round there for the Edinburgh well, that, that was a that was a, a big, big round, a, a much needed round. Uh. Rounds, Barry. You, you, you just wonder, do, you know, despite winning on the cards, who, who for McGregor did it take more out of him? We shall see. There's going to be a player or two still to come in this one as we head down the stretch. Nice little short right hand there, second to go there from McGregor. Try the uppercut yeah. again there, McGregor. And punch that worked so well for him in the, the seventh. Oh, good oh. shot. Yeah, he did, maybe just dipped the knees there, didn't oh, he? Oh, good Fruit. uppercut there from Fruit. Oh, shot right hand. Yeah. He just that's, winced at that, Farouk. That's the response he needed there, McGregor. Lovely shot. And again, 
there he goes not so elusive with the shoulder roll now Farouk and the right hand in the so McGregor he's had to oh, contend with that Farouk letting away the, the power punches now great little work there from Farouk and then McGregor come back with his own little body shot Farouk going to the body pit, again a little pit bull isn't he right. yeah, Farouk he's got a little cut on the left eye now as well uh, Barry Farouk little cut on the, the eyelid Oh, body shot goes in again from Farouk. Oh, nice little short right hand there. But then it's one straight back there from Farouk. Nice there from, from McGregor. McGregor, yes. He not, not landing with much purchase or, or power with those shots, but scoring nonetheless. Speaking of scoring, how on earth are you scoring this, <laughs> this fight? I was thinking going into this round, Barry, it could be 4-3. Oh! Nice little short right hand from McGregor. Could be 4-3. Farouk, maybe 5-2, depending how you yeah. saw it. I, I think I think Farouk might just be a couple up for me. Oh, good, good little finish here from McGregor, though. And this one, they and Farouk just glances at McGregor. Gives him a lingering look as they go go back to the. Heading down the stretch then, here we are in the, the ninth. Don't want to talk too much about the cards, Barry, just given the fact it's such a compelling fight and they really are putting it in, but how have you got it? Farouk in front? Yeah, I got Farouk three up at the minute. He's just, oh, that cut's got worse. Slash across the left eye of Farouk. They're piling forward there, Farouk, but not throwing anything. And have to take a few right hands. Nothing heavy, but the scoring shots there from McGregor. How they feel the fight is going to pay it off them. Oh, that's good then. McGregor missed with that jab and a good right to the body there from Farouk. And again. Yeah, another body shot. Oh, and he's just uh, winging away to the, the body. That cut is getting worse for Farouk. Yeah. McGregor missing with a couple of those big left oh, hands. Lovely. Farouk just getting a little bit frustrated when they're clinching. Oh, oh lovely oh. shot. Huge shot, wasn't it, Barry? Left hand up from McGregor. I think that left hand of McGregor knocked, knocked the lights out. <laughs> uh, Blink him in both eyes now, Farouk. Yeah, that cut is, is in a nasty spot. It's right across the left eyelid. Oh! oh just a bit un unfortunate, Farouk. Uh, Bundle, it's just an accident. I, I don't think. Do you know what? I, to be fair, I know I know it's McGregor going forward. I think Farouk had him on the neck. To be to be honest, yeah, a few boos and howls, but 
see McGregor's going to get the blame there. And I understand with everything he is doing that, but I think actually Crew got him on the neck. And now that's just a little bit of fire under this as if we needed it. Mask of blood across Farouk's face, both cuts worsening. Cheekbone in the, the eyelid. The right hand there from Farouk and a nice one back from McGregor. Yeah, Good in fight. all of that, but it's a great fight. Great. Is there to be another change in the, the play? Subplot perhaps to unfold. Victor Laughlin just gave him a, a stare and talking to about that uh, unseemly <laughs> tumble out and through the ropes. I think they'd be happy for the rest, to be honest. Yeah, let's, let's make it a minute and a half between <laughs> rounds <laughs> for the last three. Oh, that cuts straight away over the left eyes open straight away. The food. Oh, that's oh, up to see how much Farouk. He's dabbing away at that cut, but he still wants to come forward. They're taking a few shots here. And McGregor's back to the ropes, standing some nice little punches. Oh, Again. lovely little up, uppercut from the southpaw stands from McGregor. Farouk just got to be careful. He just doesn't ball, ball forward, you know, with no intelligence. Like he, earlier on, it was all head movement. He was clever with his attacks. Now we just get a little bit. One dimensional with his attacks and McGregor times out with an uppercut. Good shot there from McGregor. Yeah, fantastic little three punch combination from McGregor. He's starting to buy himself some spaces. The tempo just begun, the pace just maybe starting to lilt. Who's that going to help more? So strong, isn't he, Farouk? Doesn't look it physically, does he? But like a ball. Well, I, I must admit, I. Have it. When we saw him before, Farouk, you know, it's just his, his technique and his talent and his foot movement and the way he glides round effortlessly round the ring. I don't necessarily expect this sort of front foot aggression from him, but against the, the taller, long levers of, of McGregor, maybe that's exactly what he needed yeah. to do. But I'll tell you what, Barry, McGregor's box yeah. well off the back foot this round. I think he has in this round for me. I think the fact that. You know, the fact that Farouk has been coming forward in straight lines. Oh, no, no. no. Well, he has been warning him, to be fair, but it's a nightmare for him. I, I I just, you just don't want to see something like that affecting a fight like this. That, that's the only thing. Referee's oh, got to do his job. Huge shot from McGregor, who was winning that round, let's not forget. Oh, lovely left hook there from McGregor. Great round. Oh. Body shot there from Farouk. Yeah. Lovely right to the body. And McGregor fires back. You have a go, I'll have a go. <laughs> I think McGregor's still winning the rounds. Oh! Oh! What a fantastic fight. Not a, no worries about their chins, is it? No. That's for sure. Gut check. Chin check. Ever.
a right hand there from Fruit. A bit. You felt through the first half of the fight that Farouk, the, the cleaner punches, the eye-catching shots, as a body shot goes in again from the Glasgow man. It goes with it, the difference. And then McGregor had that, that huge seventh, didn't he, Barry? And he's just had that, that massive tenth as well, but unfortunately the sting in the tail with the, the deducted pot. He really has tried so hard in the second half of the fight. But also you can't, remember, you can't forget about all these body shots. Through. They're all scoring, not just winning, they're all scoring shots. Oh, they've both been terrific. For a couple of heavy body shots from him. <laughs> a little bit low there. Well, no one, no one bothered about the slight lull in the action. We said before this fight, in the introductions, that it, it had shakes of Alex Arthur, Willie Lemon. Willie Lemon stopped in eight that night. Arthur went on to become a world champion. Lemon still bounced back to become a British and a two-way Commonwealth champion as well. And mentioned, of course, Groves and, and De Gale, who went at it so early on, similarly in their career, and both went on to become world champions too. It, it, for the loser, this is far from the end. And who knows, Barry, it might just be the, the start of a, a trilogy maybe over the yeah, next decade or so. You want to see this again, wouldn't you? Guarantee whoever wins. They'll need a break. Nice. They'll pay it off and they'll need a break, that's for sure. Good work there. Uh, better work coming from McGregor for me with the right uppercut. The right hand from McGregor. Then Farouk fires back. Yeah. It has been one way and the other, hasn't it? Just blinking the blood out of his eyes. Now Farouk. And McGregor pouring his soul out here in Glasgow. I'll tell you what, there's a oh, shot. Fantastic from McGregor. Oh, what a round again. I'll tell you what, mate. There's a. Big hug, kisses for each other, now they're going to go after each other once again in the 12th and final round. It has not disappointed, Farouk's corner think he's in front, Barry agrees. Good job there from Farouk. Oh, lovely shot there from McGregor, nice left hook, missed with the first one too, but didn't and give up on the combination. And you know what, Barry, sort of... Seventh round, McGregor really had to drive himself forward and put out a, a put it out of him, himself. But he, he's had to adapt and box more down the stretch. Well, all I talk about, he's, he's, you know, he's dead, he might be dead at the weight, you know, but it's been a hard fight and he's put really well. Shot from Farouk. Yeah, nice right hand getting through from Farouk again. He's he's blinking through the blood. Oh, nice from McGregor. Oh, big right hand, McGregor. Might have caught him off balance. Oh, good shot there from McGregor. Another big one. McGregor, you fancy needs something big in this final round. Trying to produce it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
was the damage done in the first half of the fight for Mexico. McGregor. Can't do that, Lee. And Victor Lachlan desperate not to have to pull any more points. I don't much with that public warning play that, that point deducted wow. the play. It might it might be academical. The route might be wide ahead, who knows? No surprise there, Weary and, and top. 30 seconds to go then. He needs a, re, a he needs a massive finish here for Rupert. This has been a, a good round for McGregor. Yeah, Mc, McGregor's had a, a really good run down the stretch. Big seven, huge tenth as well. Oh, trading left hooks in the closing seconds. Fantastic fight. They both think they've done enough. Both celebrate. Cornermen have them above their shoulders. And someone we suspect is going to be disappointed. After all that effort, after the training camp, what they put themselves and their families and their friends through. And it will boil down to how the judges on three sides of the ring Mark Nathan right next to us how they saw this particular fight Barry, how did you see it? I got, I got through the head, I got through the winning, but it was close really close, I think McGregor pulled it back a little bit there, that last round he needed a big finish and to be fair, he did all he took to do it and, you, and also, Peru was brilliant in the first half had those cuts and for the second half had the problem with the cuts especially that one on the left side, he's constantly throwing into his eye and then he's caught, you can see we've got his stress, kept firing on, and we'll put that in a good attack with the strength he showed as well in there against the seemingly bigger McGregor, but what a fight, fantastic one, the fight we knew we were going to, we expected a fight like that, we got it. Our Perux, friends and supporters just behind us, uh, Batty Dick, they were looking up to Craig Dixon, his, his coach, who looked down to, to them for confirmation that they all think that man's done it. Now they were signaling maybe by three or four points, but we'll, we'll see about that. But a fight like this, a fight like this, with so much on the line, you, know, you, you don't want to be saying, well, if I would have done a little bit more, but they it, they both put their foot on the pedal when they have to, they give all they could give, you can't ask for it. And it was, it was small margins between yeah. them, not, not one man dominated the other man, they, they had their moments, cleaner punching through the first half of the fight from Farouk, his body punching through the second half was terrific, I personally thought McGregor might even have won the second half of the, the fight, the way Possibly, he came back. Yeah, but, but to me, maybe it's not enough for me, yeah. Yeah. I mean that probably won as well, I didn't have that sort of... Well, we'll see, it's not up to us, we just got well, to call it, and what an absolute pleasure it was. It really was. And it, terrific sportsmanship, let's hope the fans who come here in their thousands to support the film, let's hope they share, share that, because it, it was terrific, and they were friends before and they remain friends afterwards, whatever the judge's decision is, and I can see that long tail belt over there, the Commonwealth belt as well. Who goes home with the pair of them? Let's find out now, after a compelling contest, let's find out with TK. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just witnessed 12 outstanding rounds of boxing. Please show your appreciation for both these warriors. After 12 rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge John Latham scores about 114 to 113, Farouk. Judge Phil Edwards scores about 114 to 113, McGregor. And Judge Mark Lyson scores about 115 to 112, in favor of your winner by split decision victory. And now he is the new unified British and Commonwealth Bantamweight champion. McGregor it is who celebrates as the champion of the Commonwealth and indeed of Britain. It's the coach loads who've come down the MA from Edinburgh who celebrate. Anger, disappointment, fury on this side of the ring. 
Well, the Glasgow faithful really felt they'd done enough, and to be honest, that was the feeling, certainly on this side of, of the ring. It was a compelling fight, and it, it's a shame, really, that that will be viewed as, as, as good, as close for us, and as compelling as the fight was, Barry, it, it will be remembered now, initially, for that scoring, what well, people will view as a... What if you're going to look at the 115, 112, and go, well, how can you score that? But if there's close rounds, you'd see it one way or the other. I thought we'd do that, that's my opinion. And if one judge agree with me, two didn't, and I think that's the way it is. But it was a close enough fight not to be called a stink up. I think it was a little bit unlucky myself, to be honest. I think that probably wanted me was enough to see it for him. But, but either way, you can't 